Hello everyone, this is a video for shows I'd like to see on Netflix Australia specifically, but uh, some of them I, I think would work pretty well worldwide. Uh, they're mainly Australian shows, so... Uh, so, you know, so that's where the pitch is essentially going. Okay, so right out of the gate, I want to recommend a show to you that is amazing. It's Blue Healers. It's a show that just about every great Australian actor has worked on. It is brilliant. Oh, I cannot say enough about this show. Uh, just about every season, somebody leaves, and uh, a few episodes later, someone else comes in, and the drama gets hooked up, uh, brought up to a million. Oh, it... It's great. It's kind of so. It's kind of like Doctor Who in the sense that you get cast changes uh, quite often. So you you so so the show never got got stale, and that's why it went for like five hundred episodes. It was the I think it's the last great show Australia ever produced, and I recommend anyone track it down, find it. There is a YouTube channel with just about every episode on it. Um, I think there's one episode that's missing. They put the wrong episode in there or something that was supposed to be, so sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, uh, I want to recommend that. Another one I want to recommend, just because, yeah, sorry, oh, I was trying to fill this in something. Yeah, uh, was All Together Now. Uh, recently, the main star of that, John English, he died um, from complications for uh, some sort of surgery, so uh, sorry to say that. Uh great uh, guy, Stephen Jacobs, who uh, kind of became an internet sensation for a while. He's a weatherman that got attacked by a pelican. Uh, yeah, gr great show, very funny. Um, probably the only show uh, that um, an Australian sitcom uh, that went over 100 episodes can probably be put out now. Uh, yeah, so that, that one will be would be a great one to have out there. I've got the first two seasons on DVD and I intend on reviewing each and every episode of those. Uh, uh, they haven't re released season three and I think there's a fourth one, so yeah. Uh, but it went for over 100 episodes, so it should be good. Uh, another uh, show, A Country Practice. Um, partly I recommend this is because it's where I got my real name. I was... Uh, inspired by the show, uh, one of the, uh, practice, so one of the doctors, has, has my name, uh, so, yeah, uh, that's where my name, real name came from, so, yeah, I want to recommend that one, that was a pretty good show, it lasted a very long time, uh, not as long as Blue Healers, but, uh, qu quite a while, uh, and it's a soap, so, uh, could bring in, the ladies and uh, older people that remember it, <coughs> and, and maybe some of the kids that remember it but don't remember some of the earlier episodes of it. Yeah. Um. Uh. A, a show from the '90s now. Uh. Heartbreak High. Uh. Is a continuation of a movie in some respects. Uh. They called the that was called the Heartbreak Kid and did not contain Shawn Michaels in any way, but it was a continuation of that movie, uh, one of the characters from that movie, or one of the actors, I'm, I could be wrong here, but uh, very similar titles, but yeah, uh, that was a good show, so um, I don't remember much of it, but um, it's on DVD now, so track it down, check it out, uh, it should be good, uh, and the last one is Acropolis now, uh, I don't remember a lot of this show, but uh, it was really funny. A lot of humour and, and uh, one of Australia's great <laughs> great characters, Effie, was uh, born in this show. Uh, it's it, it was funny. Uh, it's really really great show. Uh, I can't. I really want to track it down to and uh, talk about it more. I uh, just the humour in it was great. Very funny. Uh, it was one of those shows I think uh, I remember watching on a the night I forget what night it was on but yeah it was one of those shows that you, you could
and what's down watch with the whole family. And as you can see, it's G-rated. But uh, occasionally that will go up to PG and stuff. But it's uh, the other thing about Australian shows is uh, I think this as well as uh, Blue Healers managed to take place in the same place with a minimum amount of sets. So there's a lot of bottle. Uh, so it's practically everything's a bottle show. Yeah, so <laughs> that's where you see the budget. Uh, Blue Healers, on the other hand, all over the place. Uh, and uh, Country Practice filmed all over a town. Uh, yeah, and. Uh, that's about it guys, uh, post this uh, where we can, uh, check out these shows, because they're, they're all very good. <coughs> Alright, and uh, wait for me to get over my cough, bye. <laughs>